Yes, they aren't sounding the alarm bells just yet, but after great improvement, West Virginia's COVID-19 numbers took another turn in the wrong direction today. After a week of sharp declines in key COVID-19 numbers, West Virginia is now seeing an uptick in cases once again. The Mountain State logged more than 1,600 new positive cases in the past day. Active cases have now gone back over the 14,000 mark, a modest increase. And the number of daily tests turning positive is back up to 11%, which is a significant increase. And to be perfectly honest, we're going to probably still lose a lot, a lot of people. The only way we can stop it is what I've told you, and I've told you, and told you, and told you, and told you. The only way in the world we're going to stop this is to get vaccinated. Governor Justice says 3,100 more West Virginians were vaccinated this week, but the state has more than 15,000 doses available, so more people can get their shots if they want. And now there is another problem. There is a national shortage of monoclonal antibodies, which can be an effective way of treating patients who are suffering from COVID-19. Like many states, West Virginia is not getting enough from the federal government. Uh, we were scheduled to get 1,584 doses of Regeneron this week, but to date we have only received 156. Uh, that is due to a national supply issue. The White House says seven southern states with low vaccination rates have used up 70% of the antibodies so far. Critics note that all are so-called red states. It's all politics. You know, it, it, I hate to say it, it makes me sick. That's all there is to it. The White House denies any political motive, saying supplies are just scarce. And state health officials said once again today they believe the federal government is on the verge of approving vaccines for children from the ages of 5 through age 11.